This is Chris. This is Chelsea. And this is Alan Ada, episode 17. I didn't know what you were doing. I didn't know if you were doing the 10 or the 7. Go. This is our floss tube where we talk about what we're stitching and what we're drinking. So welcome back. So what we're drinking. Yeah, let's just do that. All right. Do you want to go first? Sure. Uh, beer Brewery. They're out of Indianapolis. Mm -hmm. They're red rum, Irish red. Because I went to the store and all the Irish stuff's out. Because this is the, the sixth. So, yeah, St. Patrick's Day. 5.3%. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, beer is... Their address is listed out of Broader Pole. It looks oh, like... Oh, yeah. Aren't they affiliated Brewed with and Bottle, um, Excuse me. Brewed and Bottled by South Broad Ripple Brewing Company. Oh. Yeah. But they make some really cool stuff. I don't mm -hmm. think we've had anything on here before. I like their Dankzilla a lot. Um, is that beer or is that beer? There are two beers. There's Beer Works and Beer Brewery. Yeah. That might be Beer Works. I'll have to look that up. But either way, any of the beer breweries... With the name beer in Indianapolis are pretty good. Um, I don't know. It's good. I've already had one. I'm going to open it. So it's called Red Rum? It's called Red Rum. Why is it called Red Rum? Stephen King? Yep. Murder Backwards? It's The Shining. Red Rum. Axe through the door. Yeah. Uh, how? 5.3%? Mm-hmm. I'm sorry I don't have glasses. Yeah. It's They're really, packed. it's nice. It. Yeah. My beer is not very interesting today in terms of like, last time it was that crazy hop. But I don't know. I was just thinking, I just been doing a lot of, I, I, I do IPAs all the oh. time. No, it's nice. Yeah. Um, it's very, very um, toffee. Yeah. It's malty. Yeah. It says a complex and flavorful malt forward beer. Caramel, toffee, and a fruit like sweetness. I would say that's. That's true. I decided to do something not an IPA. Yeah. I wanted um, something Irish tonight. The problem is that this is super, like, I just wanted to drink this like it wasn't a beer. Oh. Yeah, I see that. I can see that. Um, I wanted something Irish for tonight, but what I wanted was not available because I nope. guess everybody in central Indiana had the same thought. Apparently. This week. So, but... um. So on Instagram, like a couple weeks ago, I think, uh, I mentioned to Bart, Park Hopper Bart, if you're unfamiliar, um, that I needed to drink more Florida beer mm. because he's from Jacksonville, I think. Sorry, Bart, if I'm wrong. I, I, um, I, didn't, I didn't know. I'm not super familiar with Florida's, like layout yeah i've only been to florida one time okay um but he posted something he was drinking from florida i think it was a cider and i mentioned to him like i really should try more florida stuff so uh i didn't tell chris that but then later that week he came home with like a, a, a variety, variety pack. pack from um cigar, cigar city. city out of tampa florida sorry there's a glare on that um i looked them up they um they were founded in 07 made their first commercial batch of beer in 09 so not super new but they're not a really old brewery either this is the florida cracker uh it's a belgian white um brewed with coriander and orange peel i've had one already and it's really drinkable I'm trying to it wasn't terrible in terms of I don't like wit beers and wheat beers and white. I, I'm not a fan, but it was good. Says drink fresh. I say Do that. not age. Okay. I don't know what the alcohol by volume is of this, but um, it's not heavy. Can you open that? I have long nails right now and it's, I just can't. Um, yeah. If we... <laughs> If we ever leave off information or you want to know more about the beers we drink, we always put in the description box what yep. we're drinking so you can go find them. But also we do have an untapped account yep. um, that you can friend us on untapped and anything we drink um, on YouTube, mm -hmm. we post, 
But then also, if we drink something really fun, like in our regular life or whatever, when we're not on camera, we'll post it there too. But we don't post like everything. It's really... See it again. It's really drinkable. I don't know. It's weedy. And because we don't have any glasses... It's not bad. It's going in my Yeti koozie because I don't want to hold it. Anyway, so that's what we're drinking. All right. Life updates. Life update. Life updates. What do you have? I'm grabbing projects. You can go first. Life update. Um, Homeschooling. I don't know. What have we been doing? Little by little, getting the other house ready to list it. Mm -hmm. um, goal is that that's going to be on the market right after Easter. But we didn't want to have like a crazy push to get it done all at once. So we're doing it little by little. Um, I don't know. I feel like I've been stitching and homeschooling. That's, that's life. Pretty soon here in the next few days, I'll be starting uh, garden seeds. Mm-hmm. He and I are working together to start all the seeds that we want in like one place. And then we're just going to split them up how we, um, how we want to, but that's about it. So here in the next couple weeks, things are going to really pick up, I think. Probably. Yes. But I don't know. This is like a weird part of the winter where it's like mud season. March is, it's not bad though. It's not super it's not bad, bad, but. It's been really nice out today yeah. and the mornings are cold but the afternoons are really nice yeah so you're at that we're at that time in the midwest well our part of the midwest where in the morning you want your winter coat and you have to defrost your car but by the afternoon you don't want your winter coat you want like in the sun you can get pretty warm mm -hmm. so it's like you have to change hot clothes in the car. yeah and you're like hot a, in the car of the, of the sun and so it's like this weird, you can't get comfortable. Like if you turn the heat off, you'll get too cold at night, but it's really um, hot in the middle of the day mm -hmm. in your house, you know, just like that. But I did get out for my first really long walk today in a long time mm -hmm. and I needed it. I don't think I realized how much I missed the sunshine until I went on that like 35 minute walk today. And I was like, yes, this is exactly what my pale face needed today to get through the day so i don't know is there anything else yeah i was gonna because i'm doing similar stuff too if anybody has seen my instagram which i'm i'm gonna start posting again i was taking a big long break but i need back on it originally started as like a triathlon one mm -hmm. and that has covid just i did one triathlon last year um in the summer that's right, you did. I, did I forgot you did one last year. Um, and it was like very small. They were limiting people. It was, mm -hmm. but it was very good. It was very fun. But since then, it's just been like I haven't done anything. Is that the try you won? No, uh, -uh. that was that was you won in twenty nineteen. Yeah. Okay. And when we say won, his class, I won my weight class, my age, my age group by weight, I won. So what? It's fine. It's just you have to say that because they called they your different. name. Yep. You were the fastest in your category of the yeah of the age group of the 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 large category. He won, but uh, I started running again, and it's mostly because my foot been bothering me. But I I'm I'm trying a new shoe. I'm trying the Hoka's. A lot of people love them. I've been Asics forever, but I, I got a new pair of Hoka's, and I've started that again. And mm -hmm. I ran a couple 5Ks this week, like just on my own. Yeah. Like one today and one uh, mon Monday or Tuesday. No, it was Wednesday. It was Wednesday because Wednesday was crazy because work was crazy. I can't remember. So um, every day is the same for me. So I'm picking some of that back up mm -hmm. as I can. Hopefully going to get on a bike at some point. Yeah. But and then stitching has been kind of. In and out, just because of everything. But yeah. I did get a lot of cool stuff done, and I switched projects. I will not be showing 
Halloween Quaker. Yeah, for the first time. No Halloween Quaker. Since like well, October. I put it down. I put it down for a while, but then I picked it back up just to do stuff on it. But the last like th two or three, I've shown Halloween Quaker, but no Quaker today. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Nothing Quaker. Nothing Quaker at all. Whoa. Mm -hmm. All right. So, do you want to get into stitching? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Who's yeah. Who's going first? You have a lot. I have more. a lot. A lot more. Do you want me to go first? Yes. Okay. I have a lot of stitching to show because I'm doing March Madness. So, uh, Kia and I were hanging out and sometimes when we hang out, we just like put floss tube on. And a lot of time, a lot of times we just search floss tube number one and we'll like check out new floss tubers or whatever. But she mentioned um, that she wanted to watch Steel City Sit Stitchers, which um, I knew who they were, but like I'm not, I hadn't been a regular watcher because she wanted to watch their explanation of how they do March Madness. So we watched it. We're like, yes, we're doing this. Um, so I'm doing March Madness, which is in, which has been fun because I've pulled out a lot of projects that I have not touched in a long time, um, which has been nice. So, um, that's not all I've done though. Like I've done stitching outside of March Madness. So I'm going to show my... Mm coming to America first, because up until March Madness, oh, you know what? I have a finish that I didn't bring up. Save it for next time. I finished February's. Oh, that, yeah, just show it. I didn't time. show that last time, did I? That finish? Yeah. We, mm, Maybe I just showed it. We'll review, and then if not, we'll show it. I finished um, Prairie School Year. Prairie Schooler February. Yes. So, but I forgot to grab it. So we'll um, either show it next time or we'll show it next time. It'll be a refresher yeah. either way. So my watch is yelling at me because it's going to die. Okay, so I've put in a lot of Yikes. work Yikes. on, um, what is this? Coming to America. Coming to America. Okay. So, do, 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 do. There she is. So that bottom mode, like that bottom section, that bottom scene is completely done. And then I had to come. So I worked the border down as I went um, because I was counting off the border, but I didn't have the double dotted line or whatever. So I finished that. And then I'm working on the, the zigzag. zigzag which just looks really cool when it's done. Um, so I need to finish the border. So I need to finish the zigzag, which is half done, over half done. And then after that, all I have left guys is backstitching because I need to put in the sails and backstitch around the sails. And then like um, a little, like little details here and there and more backstitching down here, like her, the flagpole or whatever. But there it is, almost done. I'm definitely gonna meet my goal of finishing it before the kids are done with school mm. this year. So I tried to get it done before March 1st, but I just didn't, didn't get that done. And I didn't wanna put it on March Madness because it was so close to mm -hmm. a finish that I, I wanted to work on some other things that hadn't seen much attention. So I'll show you my bracket. This is printed from Kia's planner. So that's why you can see all the tabs. That's her planner tabs. Okay, so this we just found like a blank um, eight team single elimination. And I wrote in the dates that I wanted to do each one. Um, so my bracket has Hocus Pocus. Well, I'll say it and then I'll show it. How about that? Okay. So Hocus Pocus. Hocus Pocus. This <clears throat> is a Liz Matthews. I'm going to help. Thank you. Yep. I got to move some of my stuff. This Sorry. in my Halloween Noise. bag that Kia made me. Oh, I dropped things. Isn't that fun? Uh, Chris and I have a camper. We have a pop-up camper that we love. And so she made one with a camper for me. Okay. So.
so oops oops this is the wrong bag yep wrong one sorry um but okay this is also a halloween bag that kia did because she used those um those these bags that everybody gets off amazon and then she used her cricket and made it halloween um yeah so this is Hocus Pocus. I don't have the cover photo. So I'm gonna do mine like Liz showed it, like in an oversized frame. So this is a huge piece of fabric. Um, all I had before was the B. Mm. Because um, Halloween- The B? I, the B for bunch. Oh, it is that. I, yeah. Duh, never mind. But then I finished it. So it says bunch. Um, my goal for March Madness is that each piece will get at least an hour of work um, on the day that it shows up on my bracket. So this fabric. Oh, my gosh. I saved the fabric tag. This fabric is 40 count Newcastle linen um, in Cafe Olay by Fiber on a Whim, and the floss I'm using, this is um, Bee Stitch Me Cauldron. Cauldron, I was gonna say, I thought it was called Cauldron. Yeah, this is Cauldron. So, there's that, and then Kia had also made these um, witch floss. hat floss drops, and then she got me this Hocus Pocus needle minder from Rebel Stitcher Designs on Etsy. Okay. Hold that yellow in. So, Hocus Pocus. Hocus Pocus. All right, what's next on my... Quaker flag. Quaker flag. This one, um, whenever we would go camping last year, I would take this and stitch on it by the campfire. Okay, sorry about that. Claire, this is by the Stitcher Hood. Quaker flag. It's really cute. Mm -hmm. Um... So I am stitching this on 14 count lamb's wool, Ada. Look at that. Because it's easy to see when I'm outside by a campfire. So that's where I'm at. So basically this week I added one more of the white stars and then this before, like I did this one at someone else's house and I was running late. So I ran out real quick and I didn't pack enough I didn't pack any more white DMC and then I forgot my hoop. And so I don't, don't my hand that. cramped up. Um, but yeah, that's, you still did it. I, I worked on it. Um, so the white, I'm just using DMC Blanc. Um, but then the navy blue and wavy navy and the red are licorice red and wavy navy, both classic color works. And from those two, Hocus Pocus advanced. It was just a coin toss. Yeah, I'm... I'm. It was a Hey Siri, heads or tails. Yeah, I'm asking Siri heads or tails. Which we learned she does that. Yeah, whatever she tells me, that's who's advancing. Okay. What's next on my bracket? Old blue eyes. Old blue eyes. This is the first chart that I bought in an LNS. There she is. Old blue eyes, heart in hand. So it says, in the meadow, we can build a snowman. This is also the first um, project that I started that's not on Ada. Mm -hmm. So this is 32 count McKinney even weave that All Kia that weave. and Tech Guy gave me. So there I am. This is the same fabric that uh, you're using for Halloween Quaker. Halloween Quaker. Mm -hmm. So um, basically what I did this week um, when this one showed up is put in the bunny and started the snow, the bottom of the snowman. I would have gotten a lot farther except that I realized that I was half a stitch off and I spent a lot of time finding it. And it turns out it's, it's here between the U and the B. I'm half a stitch off. And so it threw everything because I stitched the words first 
um, it threw everything off above it as I counted, but I'm not going to go in and like, I would have to pull everything out to redo it. So I'm just rolling with it. Um, but I spent a lot of my time trying to figure out where I had messed up, but this was the first thing I ever did that wasn't Ada. It was the first thing I ever did over two. So mm -hmm. I'm not real upset with myself about half a stitch. So. Old blue eyes. All, All glory. glory. I, I was waiting for you to ask me. Sorry. I don't know. So this was my That's Christmas gift from Kia and Tech Guy. This is a chart that Kia made. Um, I've shown it a couple times. There we go. So mm -hmm. when it's done, it's going to say all glory be to Christ. Um, and that this cursive is Kia's handwriting which I think is really cool. Oh, it matches my nails. Look at that. Um, so this fabric. Blue bonnet is the floss. Yes, but the I fabric like it. it's a is good color. 40 count uh, linen gray by Fabric Flare. And yes, the floss is blue bonnet, blue bonnet by asked. no Victorian Motto Sampler Shop. It looks really nice on this gray linen. So, um, and from those, all glory progressed. Yes. So that will see more attention. Okay, now we're up to yesterday, spring, spring freebie. freebie. All right, so I have recently discovered whilst Iris naps. So I've watched her floss tube and also I bought one of her charts. I'm blanking on the name of it right now. Sorry, but I'm hopefully going to start it soon. And um, once I get through March Madness, I want to start it. But she put out a freebie. Um, mm. It's just called Spring Freebie. And it's adorable, guys. So this freebie actually is one, two, three, four five charts because I don't want to show yeah I don't want to show you the chart but so on the back of each of these oh, yeah. um you can stitch um welcome she charted welcome spring. spring and happy easter so if you finish them like this the back of the how she did it the back of each pillow has like a message on it um but the bunnies there are two borders so the, their tails are little hearts. So there's this border that's like just a design, but also like a border that has hearts in it that I'm you can see. choose. Um, so I went ahead, uh, yes. started that one and I started with the carrot. I'm almost done with the first carrot. I would have been done, except I was very, drowsy as i was doing this is a and crazy i miscounted border. it's awesome no it's like really neat like yeah um i was really tired when i was doing this and i miscounted and i had to frog a bunch to make it <coughs> right excuse me um because it wouldn't have made a big difference if i had just comp compensated but the carrot next to it has a pattern that it would have the pattern would have been off um and I didn't want to try and rechart it. So, um, this, I am using the called for fabric, which is a 36 count Zweigert smoke blue Edinburgh linen. Um, so I just ordered it off Be Stitch Me because I really like the look of hers, but I did do my own floss conversion instead of buying new floss. So, um, I just pulled everything from stash, but this orange. Did you is, have grits? I did have grits. I already had that. Yeah, lots of people have grits. Um, and lots, then I didn't black do black walnut. That's not good. Huh? Black walnut's a color. You're not using mm. it though on that one. On the on the carrots. I'm mm. I'm just looking because the carrots. Yeah. Well, they might be in the border. I'll I'll stop talking. I'm just. So this is persimmon by Weeks Dye Works. So. Really cute really cute if it doesn't progress 
I'm gonna try and still, still like find time to stitch on it um, because I'd really like to finish it for Easter. But if it progresses, it'll. I'm sorry, I didn't mention like the goal is that is oh, each yeah. by by the fifteenth, I'll know which one has won my bracket, and then I have the fifteenth through the end of the month to FFO it. Okay, what's nice. next? Sleepy Hollow. Sleepy Hollow. This is what I'm stitching on today. This is another Liz Matthews. I bought a PDF, so I don't have the cover photo to show you. Um, but here it is. So this is, I've worked on this today. That's why it's all wrinkly and messed up. Guys, I'm a much better stitcher than I was when I started this in October. Because when I pulled this out, I was like, what did I do? What, what was I thinking? It was like all willy nilly because now looking at this. The front looks good. Yeah, but the back does not. Now looking at this, I would have totally started at the bottom of this like little placard thing and worked my way up because I like the way I stitch. It's best if I go uh, bottom up, but I'm like, I was doing all this willy nilly junk. And so today was basically me like trying to fill in all this weirdness so that as I move on, I'm not like frustrated with it anymore. So I was kind of like, it was weird, but I was also like, wow, look how much better I am now than I used to be. Um, this fabric is 36 count Weeks Dye Works Linen um, Beige. And I am do I'm using all the DMCs in Liz's conversion. I'm just doing what she recommended so are you showing the other two yeah but let's ask Siri who's going to progress oh sure so heads is spring freebie heads is spring freebie tails is city hollow because one's on top yeah so the, on the bracket spring freebies on the top hey Siri heads or tails tails, tails. oh mine did too they both, and said, they both tails. said tails. So, Sleepy, Sleepy Hollow. Hollow. That means I'm just going to have to f find time to fit Spring Freebie in because I really want it done there for you Easter. Go. Okay. Then. Make it do. Make it do. Y'all so seen it. This is what I'll be stitching on tomorrow. I don't know that I have any more progress since the last time I showed this. But. But that's where I'm But y'all seen it. Yeah. So, this is. This fabric is 36 count. Buttered Popcorn by B Stitch Me. The um, floss is Sulky Threads. <laughs> number five or something. No. Isn't it? It's a number. One, one. I just meant it's a number. Oh, yeah. One, one, eight, one. Um, sorry. Make It Do is a freebie chart from Beth Twist of Heartstring Samplery. Um, so I, I keep it linked in the descri description box. You just need to go to her website and you can download it. It's a freebie from 2011. Um, and she did not chart it monochromatic, but I liked it monochromatic. So I'll be it's working. on yellow. Yeah. So I'll be working on that tomorrow. tomorrow. And then be kind. Uh, be kind is a new start. Mm. This oh, will, yeah. Yeah. So this is what it looks like. This is going to be my first... Teresa Kogut chart and Kia is going to um, stitch that one too. I think she's starting it on the 8th as well. Yeah. Well, um, I just, I don't, know. I don't know if she is or not. Yeah. So we're not like doing that chart together, but it was on both of our lists. We have, we both have one. And so we're going to do this one. Um, I'm actually... I was hoping that I could get this up from Stash, but I couldn't, I just didn't like the floss I had. I wanted to use Overdyed. It calls for all week's dye works, but there's there's not like a huge list. It's only one, two, three, four, five, six, seven colors, but I didn't have any, uh, well. There's only one. I only each. had, yeah. I only had one of the called for. I didn't want to do the DMC conversion because I just didn't like it as much. And I didn't have any fabric that I like loved. 
So I put in a B stitch or a, I put in a one, two, three stitch order, but I don't think it's going to get here in time. So I don't know what I'm going to do. I don't know, but that's my bracket. Okay. That's all my stitching. I have three things. Your turn while I sit back and drink my beer. <clears throat> uh, I have two whips and a start. Yeah. Uh, I finished the lettering on to rule them all circus stitches on Etsy on Etsy. I have it on digital. I'm sorry. And it's a big chart. Like it's got six pages or something. Cause it's just big, but I finished all the lettering. Mm -hmm. Looks good. Yep. So, and I put that down, uh, I'll pick it up again, but it's got, all I have to do is the elven stuff and it's mostly i mean it's big it's big yeah. script and it's big and like if you all seen it you'll know yeah. what i'm talking about but i've really enjoyed that one and yeah. i'm ready to move on to the elven part so you, this is uh tin roof 36 count tin roof weeks weeks die works and then um 310 310 yep which is what was called for actually i think uh yeah well the not the fabric, but the... F right, the floss is 310. They yeah. have it do it mono in 310. Mm -hmm. uh, so, funny story. I talked about our anniversary piece, the Arwen quote, which is also Lord of the Rings. Um, and how I had stopped it because I thought that I was missing floss because it calls for like seven and we only had six or something like that. But that's because they decided to pick one floss that was really variegated yeah so that it would almost look like two yeah there were two like light teal blues in the chart that they used two different dmc's there's for. there's two teals one was light one was dark yeah but i just bought one really variegated yep. teal floss because i was like then he can just use that one instead and again this is digital too i'm really sorry but you'll get an idea of what the we've shown it before but i just don't have it handy but you'll get a good picture of what the actual border looks like now because mm -hmm. I put in a big chunk of the border. And it looks nice. Um, so the lettering had always been done, but now that bottom part of that border, the last time I think I showed it, I literally just had like this a little, little bit, bit the with the crinic mm -hmm. and like one piece coming off. So I put all that rest of that border in. A little more crinic. Sorry, try to find it. Eee, it won't work. You can see it shimmering in there. You can see that crinic. <laughs> so, and that's not bad. It's not... The most fun thing. But it's not But horrible. it's not awful. No, it's not awful at all. And the two colors, so this tealish thing, that's peacock. Is it classic? Mm, we're going to get it out because I can't remember. It is... Looks like classic color works. Yes. No, it's gentle. Oh, sorry. Yeah, so see yep. how variegated that is? It's super variegated. So instead of buying him two different, like, teal blues, mm -hmm. I was like, just use one super variegated one. Yeah. Uh, and it's looking really good as he yep. stitches with it. And the border, the lettering in the border, the lettering is Concord mm -hmm. by, that's... Um, weeks? Weeks. Yeah, Concord. So that's Concord. There's some Concord in the border, mm -hmm. then that Peacock Blue, and then Wavy Navy by Classic Color Works, and then I'm using Honeycomb by Classic Color Works to go with the Gold Krynic, and the gray is, uh, yeah, the old, old blue paint. Oh. That's what this says, but it's gray. Yeah, the original was Old all blue DMC. Pink. So we converted I mean, it it's all. It's kind of blue, I guess. Yeah. It's not very variegated. The only the most variegated thing in here is that peacock. Yeah. So and that's going well. I haven't touched it. Oh I, I, I haven't stitched in a day or two. Yeah, and that fabric is just a twenty eight count monaco uh, that I got. Yes. Like uh, I think I got it at Hobby Lobby or Michaels or something. It's nothing like special. I don't, I haven't stitched much because I bought a Switch. He bought a Nintendo Switch. This is the first system I have personally owned since high school. In 
We had a we when yeah, we were first but, married. But I had already had a we. Like, before. I'm just saying, it's a big deal. It's weird for me. Um, and then I have a new start. Uh, my wife purchased a new start for me. You know how, like, you know how, like, your spouse would mm. be like, hey, don't you like that? That looks kind of cute, right? And you're like, yeah, that's cute. And it is. It is cute. <laughs> but I wasn't... <laughs> <laughs> We're just looking at stuff. But it goes with the turkeys that I will start. It goes with Bittersweet Trio. Like, it goes kind of along those themes. Because I tend to stitch animals and I tend to stitch script. Yeah, so Plum Street. This is our first chart from Plum Street. Is it uh, really? Yeah. Raccoon Rabble. Yep. Look at them. Their corn and the pumpkin. I just loved it. And it looked... Like something he would like. I'm bordering out the raccoon because he's kind of crazy. And that's the raccoon on top of the pumpkin. Yeah. And the eyes of the raccoons in the faces um, are one over one. So, so like these part of the two pattern. Are only their eyes are one over one, but this little guy up here, his entire face is one over one. Yeah. And it is. Here, tell them. I'm new. I don't know what the, the fabric is. Oh, this is um the Bee Stitch Me we got. Uh, okay. February's Bee Stitch Me. It is 36 count sand castle? Yes. Yeah, or yeah, yeah. Sand, or just sand? Isn't Kia or Nathan one of them using this for something? I feel like. So Kia Or maybe started, I just saw it on their video. Kia started a project... On a, like a 5363 sand castle or something. Mm -hmm. And then this is. Now I feel bad. You don't have the tag in your bag? I didn't put it in there? I didn't kid it. I didn't so. write it down for you? No, maybe. It's on the back. It's on there. Oh, I did. It's sand, sand dollar. dollar. 36 count sand dollar from fabric of the month February. See, I wrote it down. <clears throat> And I'm using a lot of weeks. I'm we using. We did a color conversion. Yep. First from stash. Coal, graphite, whiskey, mm -hmm. Tatanka. Yeah. And then some DMCs. A bunch of DMC. Yeah. But that's the only. Those are the overdites. Everything else. Oh no, there's a. Uh, marsh. Marsh. That's what the. That's what color the color is right now. Yeah. And cotton marsh. Yep. So that's all the variegated. Yep. And it's just a border. It's just the border of the raccoon. Yeah. yeah. So I have a vision of like all these little animal guys, animals that he's stitching that I want to turn them into little um, pillows and then put them in like a bread bowl type, like a bread basket in the fall. Bread bowl. Red Bull, like Panera. You mean like a, you mean like a, like a wooden bowl or something, like a, like a. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. A bread bowl. Whatever. Um, okay, is that all of our whips? That's, yeah, I haven't done much. And I forgot to bring up my February finish for. Be for next time. Yeah. Um, and I need to stitch on March so I can get that done. Whoops. On March. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Mm. I'll get it done. I'll get it done. Okay, so we have a a little bit of haul that hasn't already been been seen in a project because you already saw February Be Stitch Me's fabric. That raccoon rabble was haul. My fabric for the spring freebie was haul. So most of it you already saw. But I'm gonna open these. Okay. Um, we'll show you the February silks from Be Stitch Me. Yes. I love them. Absolutely love them. So I was Let's totally, yes, I was totally emo. Uh, like my, my favorite romance. band was My Chemical, still is My Chemical Romance, but they just, they, they're not together anymore. Uh, broke my heart. But My Chemical Romance was my favorite band. We went to prom together and we wore. These are so well named too. Yeah. We wore red, white, and black to prom. Then when we got married, our wedding colors were red, white, and black. I used to wear like caked on black eyeliner, black on black clothes. Like that was just me. So these are so, oh, I love them. 
Okay, so this is called Red Velvet. Which is also... My favorite cake. Yeah. Did we have Red Velvet cake, too? We did. Our I wedding know. cake. I didn't eat any. Well, we got the piece that we cut and yeah. then, like, and then everybody fed ate each other. But our cake was really good. We got it. So we, our wedding Real cake quick. had pirates on it. It was really cool. Skulls and crossbones. Yeah, because I really love pirates. Like, a lot. And I was kind of punk emo, so I wanted a pirate wedding cake. So it was, like, a white five-tiered cake that they, like, piped little skulls and crossbones all over it. So far away, you're like, oh, there's just, like, detailing on their cake. But when you got up to it, it's pirates. Yep. So cool. And then when you cut it, it was red velvet. Oh, okay. Sangria. Love this. Yeah. <clears throat> Red Barn. It's very true red. I'm slinging them around. That's oh. fine. Poppy. It's like an orangey red. We call our, I call my grandpa Poppy. Oh, Vampire Kiss. This is like MCR, our wedding and prom, like, all, oh, guys. I like the... I don't know. This is good. I don't know what you use that on. But like, <clears throat> I like the, something monochromatic. That's what you use it on. Yes. I got to find something um, but that would be perfect. I like this. when, that they do the weird things. Cause like last time was Dirty Piggy or Dirty Pig or something like that. Yeah. And it was pink and gray. And a little blue. I There's think. always like a weird. I like it. I'm for it. Brandy not, does a really good job. It's not variegated. It's. Two tone, yeah, right. I mean, it is, I guess, technically, right? Yeah, but it's two tone, so anyway. yeah, yeah. So, B Stitch Me is her name's Brandy, and she does a really good job. And she's really responsive when you email her and stuff. Because with this move, I've like first I emailed her in January and was like, Can we switch to February or to Neutrals Club? and she's like, Sure. And she switched it right away. And then, uh, like, two weeks later, I was like, Can I change my address too? Like, but she's really, like, she gets back with you real quick. Okay. Then I have one other thing that I ordered that I'm really excited about and I'm going to start soon. So, uh, Kia is teaching me to quilt. And it's been really fun. And that's my one finished project back here. It's, um, I don't know, it's like, what is that? Like two and a half by two and a half? Maybe? Two. Two probably by two? Two by two, probably. Something like that. Um, like a table topper that I really like. If you're close enough, you can see it, but um, it's actually Christmas fabric, but it's so neutral that you can't really tell unless you're right up on it. But I wanted to do another table runner um, to kind of get my feet wet and get used to more of like the cuts and the piecing and everything before I move on to something bigger. So um, we were going through her books and looking at... Um, blocks that I liked that I'd like to learn and I really uh seem to like traditional blocks because everything that I was showing her like oh I'd love to make that one she's like oh yeah that's super traditional and she kept saying that over and over she's like that'd be a good one that'd be a good one because I just wasn't I don't really like the look of something super modern um but as we were looking like I had one picked out and then we, she was like, okay, well, let's like search around online for a fabric line that you like. And then um, there's like a quilt shop on the north side of Indy, um, Always in Stitches. They also have um, a really good cross stitch section. Um, but she's like, maybe we can look at some fabrics you like so we can go in and ask if they have that fabric line or at least something close to it. And as we were looking, Kia was on shabbyfabrics.com and she found this kit that she was like, if you price this out, it's such a good deal. So I liked it and I bought it. So this is the kit. It's Bess's Flower Garden Sawtooth 16 Patch Table Runner. So sorry about the glare, but that's what it's going to look like when it's done. It's, I, my original thought was I wanted something kind of patriotic to put on the table basically from May to September. 
but I didn't want it to be like flags and stars and stripes. I wanted it to be like primitive red, white, and blue. Um, so this kind of falls into that, except it's not like patriotic fabric. It's, it's red, white, and cream. Or red, white, red, cream, and blue. Red, cream, and blue. Goodness. But there's no like patriotic stuff in there. There's like a little bit of cali Flowers like and, calico. Uh, what do you call that? Uh, that's like foliage. Yeah, there's some paisley, paisley. not much, but there's like a little paisley. bit of paisley. But um, so this kit has everything. And then on their YouTube, they actually do a full tutorial. Um, for you so that if you buy the kit and then you put on the tutorial, you can just quilt along with them. And then um, I also bought, but I didn't bring it up here, um, the flying, where is it? The Creative Grids Ultimate Flying Geese Tool. Because Kia was like, I think you'll be happy to have that. Um, because I'm, I don't want, I love learning how to do something new but I don't want to buy a bunch of crap that... Oh, like things you don't need. Yeah, things that I don't Things that unitaskers need. and... Yeah, Yeah, like <clears throat> I have some stuff for baking bread, but everything I have that's that I've bought for baking <clears throat> bread can be used for multitudes of other things, like my mixer and my... Um, Dutch ovens. Yeah, the, the cooking vessels I use, the scale. Like I don't like to have something that only does one thing, and I didn't want to do that for quilting. But Kia was like, well, you love these traditional quilt blocks. And a lot of them have flying geese in them. She's like, I think you'll use it a lot. Um, so I purchased that. And I don't know when it's going to get started, but I'm really excited about it. And goal is that I'll have it completely done by May so that we can put it out for the summer and enjoy it. I think that's it. Yeah. Any fun questions or <clears throat> Nothing came up this time. I don't know. What do you mean? Like, we usually have something to chime in What's your favorite. Oh, know, yeah. Spring projects. Yeah. Like, are you guys starting your seeds? Anybody starting planning gardens, a garden? Cleaning or just enjoying the weather? Yeah. So, what are you looking forward to most about spring? How about that? Yep. Yeah. What, what are you hoping to get done in the next couple weeks like? We're going to be starting our seeds and prepping the garden because um, the place we're at, we're going to be here long enough that it'll be worth it to have a garden, I think. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. So if you're having, if you take spring break, are you going anywhere or are you like staying home because of COVID? But I think that's about it. Thanks for hanging out with us again. And... We'll try not to go two weeks. Yeah. Sorry. But anyway, have a great week. Cheers. <laughs>